And joining us now to talk about why she signed the letter is uh, Dr. Carol M. Swain, professor of political science and of law at Vanderbilt University and author of Be the People. And, uh, Doctor, good to talk to you again. Thank you. And I might want to add that I'm also the host of a new television show called Be the People that airs in uh, Tennessee. Excellent. Congratulations. That's great. Um, and uh, the, we'll, we'll watch out for that. Okay, let's talk about, um, you know, uh, uh, some encouraging news to both of us, I hope, today, where uh, Marco Rubio was on Fox & Friends this morning, and he was asked if they had the votes in the Senate to get this bill passed, and he said no. Uh, of course, Charles Schumer on Sunday, although you got to take it from where it's coming, said uh, he believes that in, by July they'll have it passed in the Senate, but uh, hopefully not. Why did you put your signature on that letter objecting to the bill? I think it's all in the name, the Gang of Eight. If you look at that product, it's very clear that it's like um, a special interest dream that's not in the interest of the American people. There's so many things that's wrong about that particular piece of legislation. Uh, for some people, it's the fact that border security is not given enough priority. I find it very problematic that we're bringing in through that bill, additional low-skilled workers to compete with American workers at a time when unemployment is astronomical for people that have a high school education or less that are out there trying to uh, get employment or trying to survive on two or three jobs. A absolutely, and it's going to disproportionately affect uh, the African American community, where where unemployment is uh, is is much higher than the than the national rate. And and you know it 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 it, it makes me wonder. Usually, the media would champion um, you know anything on the left, any liberal cause, and but but here they're ignoring the plight. Uh, and the objections of uh, you know uh, that have been registered by you and other black leaders, um, the, the the plight of uh, of the low skilled worker that's in this country, how the influx of many many more millions of low skilled workers is going to affect unemployment and the Americans who have those jobs now or might get them in the future. I'm also worried about uh, the high skilled workers. It seems like in this country yes. we don't have any high skilled workers for jobs. We don't have any low skilled workers. We got to bring them in. Yet nobody here in this country has a job. Well, you know something, every American is affected by it, and I signed the letter, uh, but the my concerns are much broader than African Americans. It, the bill works against the interests of every American. And we talk about the 11 to 12 million people who are undocumented in, in the country. We have no idea how many are here. Under that bill, the ones that are here that can come out of the shadow, shadows, even though that we know they're not in the shadows, you know, they out there as bold as we are. Um, they can bring in their relatives, even relatives that have been deported. And it's very problematic and troubling to me that the rule of law has meant nothing under this president. And about 75% of the people who would be affected that are undocumented are from Mexico. They have a high school education or less. Most of them have less than a high school education. They're going to be poor even if they're working three jobs. They're still going to qualify for entitlement programs that are not funded well enough to support American workers. So we are just creating more problems for ourselves and the evangelicals and various uh, uh, Christian religious groups that have weighed in on this issue, they really should uh, stick to preaching the gospel because in this particular case, they really don't know what they're talking about. And you're talking about, uh, Doctor, those groups that have come out in favor of the, uh, the, the immigration reform bill. Amnesty. And they really, uh, you know, in this particular case, they don't know what they're talking about. They haven't studied the impl implications. And if they look at the whole Bible, uh, when the Bible talks about be kind to strangers, you know, it was clear that they were talking about resident uh, aliens, but those people that were immigrants or strangers in the land, they were expected to follow the laws of the land. They were not allowed to come to Israel and do their own thing, whatever that thing might be. Right. Well, of course, Doctor, how dare you refer to the uh, lawbreakers as criminals? I mean, that's uh, that's uh, that's almost uh, <laughs> verboten these days. We're talking to Dr. Carol M. Swain, professor of political science of, uh, and of law at Vanderbilt University, author of Be the People and host of a brand-new TV show uh, that airs in Tennessee, 
uh, be the people. And, and, and doctor, you know, I'm not a professor. I'm not an economist. I'm not a brain surgeon. But it, and, and, and I know, you know, we keep hearing from economists how, um, you know, if we pass this, our economy, you know, the, the, the people in the shadows now will come out of the shadows and they'll be pumping billions of dollars into our economy. And over 10 years, it'll be maybe a trillion dollars. They're but, lying. Yeah. Not only that, not only that, I, 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 two and two to me equals four. And when we have an unemployment rate that's this high, and of course, it's higher than the rate indicates because people have given up in, by the tens and, uh, of millions under Obama. They're not even in the equation anymore. So we don't have enough jobs for people here now. So you're going to bring in more people because we need to fill jobs? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. But what doesn't really make sense is to bring in uh, low-skilled people uh, through the uh, guest worker programs. And those guest worker programs have numerous problems. And under this new bill, the Gang of Eight Dream Bill, the employers would no longer have to advertise the job to see if there was a qualified American. It's just so many things that's wrong with the legislation that's being proposed, and I don't see very much uh, at all that looks as if it would work to the interests of the American worker. And some people say, well, it's 1986 all over again when they gave an amnesty and it was disastrous. It quadrupled the number of people that were in the country undocumented. I think this bill is far worse than 1986. All right, listen, Doctor, good talking to you. Great luck with the uh, TV show. If you need a guest, give me a call, and we'll have you back. Okay, and please uh, visit my uh, website, uh, bethepeopletv.com. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, be, be the, the people, people TV. Be the people TV dot com. Sounds good. Thank you, Doctor. Appreciate Thank you. it. Bye. bye bye. That's uh, Dr. Carol M. Swain, professor of political science and of law at Vanderbilt.